So after months of waiting, it's finally here. The T-Mobile G1 made by HTC, powered by Google. This is the first available Android handset and it's coming to the UK in November. So what are the main features of the handset? Well, there's Wi-Fi, of course, HSDPA, so you can access that web on the go. The web and walk from T-Mobile obviously gives you unlimited data package and it's gonna cost about 40 pounds a month. So what do you get? Well, you get a touch screen interface, you get a small nipple, which allows you to scroll around the icons, and then you also get a big fat keyboard for being able to type on. It's very sidekick in its design. It's quite thick. Uh, it's about twice the thickness of an iPhone, about the same width. I think the iPhone's slightly wider. So the operating system, that's what we're all excited about, the new operating system from Google. So it's all very touch screen. It's, uh, you can scroll through. The touchscreen is incredibly responsive. It's very much like the iPhone from Apple. And obviously, you get browsing because, hey, that's what it's all about from Google's point of view. So we're going to load up the browser. We've preloaded Pocket already. You can scroll around the page quite simply, which is very nice. Check out the latest stories. And additionally, you can obviously scroll around. Now, it doesn't have multi-touch, so you can't do that Apple pinching to zoom in on the page. However, it does give you some zoom keys. And then selecting a story allows it to load up. Now, HSDPA, Wi-Fi built in. There's a micro SD card. There's supposedly two gigabytes of memory on the actual device itself. Comes with an accelerometer. No dedicated headphone socket for the music fans amongst you. And now it's not Chrome, but it does use the WebKit, which is basically what Chrome is based on. So overall, what do we think? Well, from our first look, we've had this in our hands for about an hour now, been playing with it. It's very generation one. It's very, well, the developers are gonna love it for that sense. Whether it's a consumer handset that's capable of taking on the iPhone, time will tell. The great thing is that the fix is that needs to be done to this can be fixed from the open platform base. And that's where Android is going to have a massive pulling power and a massive unique selling point. It is open platform. So if there's something you want to develop for it, then you can just go ahead and develop. You don't have to go through the Apple process. You don't have to pay Apple from the App Store point of view. You just upload it to the market and it's available for people to download. And that will be where I think this phone really succeeds in being that ideal handset for developers. It will give Apple some challenges, probably not in the consumer space, but for those developers and keen webites, this might just be the phone for you. And that's the T-Mobile G1 with Google.